the carnivals you have decorations and you have things like pride and it all connects together we all help each other out and that's what builds the community So Lift the Lid to us is really about embedding creativity in the heart of great educational experiences. I worked with a selection panel who uh, selected four artists to work across the island. It was amazing. It was so much fun. And the children's imagination, I mean, people say that children's imagination is, uh, you know, is dying because it's all screen fed. Give them the opportunity and they, children can be so creative. I think something I've really enjoyed in this project is seeing the different sorts of people and organisations working together. The partnership working has been fantastic. And what the team around Lift the Lid have done is that they've found easy ways to connect up things that might have happened anyway, but wouldn't have had so much impact. And so they become bigger and people know about them more and they're richer because they've worked together. Well, one of the things that we're really excited about with this project is the way that the schools have got involved and the way that the partners, cultural partners and schools have been thinking about what is it that makes a really rich curriculum, what is it that makes broad and balanced education and what can the cultural sector do to be part of that. We worked with six schools on the Isle of Wight and we went into the schools and explored uh, the Lift the Lid project and the artist commissions that were made as part of Lift the Lid. Performed, well I performed a dance um, and they did a singing duo to, to show what um, the performing arts course on uh, at the Isle of Wight College is capable of. The whole project is designed to bring those who provide culture, which could be museums, arts, heritage, key arts, into contact with those who will use it, schools. And so that's what's been so great about the project because in fact it has brought the two sides together. We did the Arts Award project with 14 children um, every Wednesday afternoon. Uh, I like drawing, um, I like clay and I like painting. They love to learn new skills, I've noticed, and are willing to have a go. So their resilience levels are, you know, they, they are better, much better. You're watching them from not really being aware of art to watching them explore and open their eyes. It's been quite a privilege, really. Uh, we worked with 250 children uh, in different parts of Ireland, including Totland and um, Ventnor. I think the biggest impact has been that we are now able to work together more effectively. Collaboration, building partnerships so that we can piggyback on each other's resources, we can piggyback on each other's expertise, advertising, so that in some ways the idea is, is that when well, you've tried this at this place, perhaps you can go to here and do the next bit and then after that you can try that. And so rather than each of the providers working in isolation, they can work together and that improves the experience because they can make links between them. So yeah, anecdotal, you know, it's, it's anecdotal, but I think it's, um, it, it's raised the profile for all of us and I think it gets them in and comfortable coming in and looking at art uh, and thinking about other places they can engage with kind of culture on the island that's a lot of it's free as well so that's part of it. See the investment that's been made here is something that strengthens the arts offer for children and young people in and out of school not just now during the project but things have been put in place so for example arts award advisors being trained schools and their arts mark journey these will live beyond the project and that means that there's going to be a better cultural education offer here on the island for years to come. It's fantastic.